Reindeer Studios presents Three Dumb Questions! Hey, superstars, welcome to Three Dumb Questions. I'm your host, Scott, and this is the show where there are no dumb questions. Uh, there are three dumb questions. There are no dumb answers, just dumb questions. Um, so, and I'm already messing up because I'm dumb. So, last week was our first show, and we had a friend, Dustin, join us, and people complained that uh, he was too ugly. So, Hopefully today's guest is a little easier on the eyes. Um, I'm excited to have with us the dreamy Dom from Staven Sports Cards. Hey, Dom, how you doing? That is by far the best intro I've ever had in my life, Scott. Thank you very much. Uh, hey, you're welcome. It's hard to follow up, Dustin. You guys clearly have years of chemistry going in, but I really mm -hmm. liked the show and was happy that you asked me to be on. Thanks for having me. Hey, you asked me to be on, and that's... <laughs> Thanks for being here. Yeah, because this show is a hot mess. Um, I am looking at my notes that my crack research staff put together, and it says here that your actual name is Dom 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 Is that correct? When my dad can't find something around the house, that's about what my name sounds like. Okay. Um, but otherwise, it's, it's just Dom, short for Dominic typically, but it's a pretty good one. Pretty good one. Okay. So where does the Staven come from? Staven actually comes from my hometown. Okay. Uh, East Haven, Connecticut. So they call that Staven a lot. So okay. that's where that comes from. Nice. Um, so... You are known for collecting vintage, but everybody always says that you're really young. But I kind of think that's ageist. I don't see age. I only see superstars. So how do you feel about that? Um, I mean, it, it is definitely a uh, middle-aged to older guys game just because of the financial aspect of vintage. It can get very expensive. Mm -hmm. So I get when people see me and they're just like, oh, he's kind of young for being into vintage, but it's all cool. Uh, I don't young really guys find are... like an ageist thing in it. All right. Well, the young guys are collecting those, you know, twelve thousand dollar Joe Burrows. So you know, yeah, some of vintage them. is cheap compared to that. <laughs> so how this works is I'm going to ask Dom three dumb questions, not Dom questions, and they don't have to be sports or sports card related. Um, I could ask um, what the square root of five is, or if he were to be cryogenically frozen, would he do the whole body or just the head? But uh, those aren't your questions, Dom. Um, I've given him the first two questions ahead of time, and we're going to put him on the spot by spinning the wheel of dumb questions. Um, so that's that going to be the third question. And if he behaves, he gets to ask me a dumb question. Are you ready, Dom? I thought I got to ask a good question regardless, but you know. Oh, uh, well, I'm ready. <laughs> all right. So the other day I was playing Nintendo bowling with my son and he wanted to personalize my character. He's all into that. I just really wanted to play. But uh, he asked me what my favorite color was. And I was like, I'm an adult, man. Adults don't have favorite colors. And he kind of like took offense to that. But uh, Dom, what is your favorite color? You ask the ageist question. Now you're just like, oh, adults don't have favorite colors. What's your favorite color, Dom? It's, Not it's a trick question. Mine would probably just be black. I feel like that's the color that's in my closet the most. I'm wearing mm -hmm. a black hat right now. I just like how it looks in clothing. I'm not like someone that likes to wear bright colors typically and stand out. I kind of like to wear just matching stuff that looks good together. So I'm an artist. I went to art school and I've taken a lot of art and color classes and black mm -hmm. is not technically a color. It's the but, absence of light, not color. Right. So, yeah. uh, but I'll allow it because, you know, um, so you would have a black bowling ball. I would. Yes. What, Old that, school okay. standard black bowling ball. I dig that. You know what bowling ball I would want? What's that? Have you ever seen the movie um, Mystery Men? I don't know if I have. Okay, so it's like a superhero movie from the 90s. And uh, there's this character on there played by Janine Garofalo. And she's the bowler. So she carries her weapon is this bowling ball that she carries around and throws at people. And it's like a clear ball with her dad's skull in it. Like, that's really cool. That would be a cool bowling ball. 
the custom bowling balls do get pretty crazy. So there might yeah. actually be something like that out there. That's pretty neat. Um, so speaking of superheroes and superhero movies, you had a goal called the Infinity Gauntlet. Could you describe that a little bit? Yeah, I mean, I wanted to make a national goals video for my first national. I'd been watching all of you guys for years going and the stuff that you kind of anticipate and then watching your guys' experiences. And I wanted to make a goal. I collect post-war rookie Hall of Fame members, and I wanted to go after six big ones, and I wanted the national to be like my stepping off point for that. So there's six Infinity Stones and Thanos' Gauntlet, and I wanted there to um, be a card for each stone so i uh set that goal out in june before i went to the national and i actually just completed it in december awesome six rookie cards so can you what, what cards are those the alkaline rookie card which was the biggest one mm -hmm. lube rock johnny bench mike schmidt put me on the spot <laughs> how my head um the reggie jackson there's one more. This is bad. I did a whole <laughs> video on this. But three dumb questions. It, it, it really uh, it just brings you down, I guess, the, just the name. Um, but, dang. All right. It's okay. We'll, we'll edit it's it in bad. post. We'll edit it. Yeah. We'll, we'll put that in there in post. See how I worked out all the segues into the next dumb question? I definitely liked that. Okay, that, that definitely impressed me for sure. Yeah, I, I told you I was having a conversation in our head. This is how it would work out. So you're doing a good job playing along. It's the Harmon Killebrew. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> if I give you enough time, you get it. Okay. So dumb question number two: If you were to assemble an Avengers team out of YouTubers, I like this question. Who would you choose? This was like really tough for me um at first i was just like this oh this will be easy i'll just throw something together but then i was like well what do these heroes like kind of like represent a little bit um mangini he's always showing off the guns he's someone that you don't want to get him angry you want him to be on your side he's the hulk man it just okay. makes a lot of sense to me um with that iron man a lot of money snark but in a good way super intelligent someone that everyone looks to I think that's Dave Blue Jacket 66. I actually thought um, the same thing. Yeah, I thought that was a really good one when I was going through it. Mm -hmm. Someone that is more mainstream and kind of sticks to their ways um, and their guns and someone that's like very much respectable and does things the right way. I put Mike Moynihan as Captain America. I like that. Um, and then when it came to the... Thor, the god, the, the guy that uh, is as otherworldly. No one else but Bob Lewis. I mean, like <laughs> Thor is just someone that like you never know when he's gonna show up on Earth, but when he does, he makes his presence known. He's powerful, really cool guy. Um, and then when it comes to Hawkeye and Black Widow, Hawkeye, you know, doesn't shoot a ton of shots, but he never misses. Someone that when he drops videos to me, they're must watch, and that is Orlando from A Collector's Dream. Awesome. He's, so, he's someone that whenever he's shoot, shooting new stuff, not old stuff from his collection, it's always just can't miss for me. And then the final one, I wanted to kind of poke a joke at my friend Jake from Legends Never Die <laughs> as my Black Widow. He's someone that you know, smaller in stature, people kind of overlook, but. You saw in his Misfit video, like he can really mess some people up. Like he has that ability to flip that switch and be a killer. So that is my six for the Avengers. Wow, I love it. Nicely done. Okay, so question number three, we're going to spin the wheel of dumb questions. Are you ready, Dom? Yeah. All right, let's uh, bring this up. Here it is. Um, so let's go. All right, what's for dinner? So let's bring back us back up here. Um, what is so you're from Connecticut, right? Yeah. All right. So what's your favorite local fair restaurant kind of thing? I mean, New Haven, it's the pizza capital of the world, in my opinion. 
We have a really great history of pizza on Worcester Street in New Haven. Mm -hmm. And I'd say a pie from Sally's. I personally like the old school tomato pie just with grated cheese and garlic. Um, But there's so many good options. And that's definitely would be like my favorite local restaurant as a treat every single time. That sounds good. Any other like things that New Haven is famous for? New Haven, I mean, it's it's Yale and the pizza mainly. Um, okay. There's definitely a nightlife scene and the co- and colleges and different types of restaurants. But uh, Connecticut as a whole, it, there's parts that are really relevant and parts that are mostly farmland and wilderness. So it's got a mix for sure. All right. Sounds good. You did good. Thanks. Nice done. All right. Now you get to ask me a dumb question. Well, someone here that is uh, facially hair challenged, I can't really grow a full beard. Mm -hmm. What is like the biggest pro in your life and the biggest con in your life that comes from having such a majestic beard, my friend? Um, I guess I'll start with the cons. I mean, there are not really any real disadvantages. I mean, enemies could sneak into my bedroom at night and, you know, cut it off, kind of relieving me of all my superpowers. But I've got like state of the art lasers surrounding me when I sleep. So it's not really an issue. Um, so pros, obviously the ladies love it. Um, I don't know how my wife can stand me looking so good all the time. And I tell her this all the time and she, she agrees with me, but, uh, some of the ladies complain that they don't like kissing a guy with a scratchy beard, but you got to let it grow, you know, and, and it gets all soft and cuddly. So, um, also if I ever want to do civil war reenactments, I'm ready on the spot. And um, let's see what else. Uh, children really like like me and some YouTubers. Um, they all seem to mistake mistake me for Santa Claus. So um, you know they treat me really nice and they're well behaved when they're around. Um, I guess lastly, it is a great place to store leftovers. Um, if I'm ever feeling a little peckish, you know, I can always find a little snack in there and. Uh, that comes in handy more than you would imagine. Those are some great hacks. I would yeah. I would have been taking notes down, but we're recording it, so I have this as like a uh, as a video log memory. Whenever I, I eventually get to that point where I can grow a big beard like that, All right? That's the magic of YouTube. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, so you don't have to write anything down. You don't have to learn anything. You can just like forget <laughs> everything you know and look it up, and it's it's right there. Very true. Yeah. So I, that was a great question, Tom. I appreciate, I appreciate it. it man. Hey, um, so I guess we did it. That was pretty painless. Yeah, I mean, we definitely blew through it. Um, yeah. Hopefully people will appreciate that. About like half the man Dustin is, so about half the time run. <laughs> uh, but yeah, dude, it was really awesome. Thanks for having me. Hey, you're going to get there someday. <laughs> Dustin, he's 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 on that pedestal, but you know. It's, it's not a real solid foundation. So if you want that, you can get it. Um, thank you for being such a good sport. Um, if any of you out there want to be on Three Dumb Questions, I've got a couple people lined up, but uh, let me know in the comments or uh, email me or uh, send smoke signals and whatever, and we'll get this worked out. Dom, thank you for being here. I appreciate it, buddy. All right. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Good talking Scott. to you. Awesome. Right. For sure. Th- thanks for watching. Be good.